Today Wilson and I are heading down to shoe a chronically founded mare. We started working with this uh, mare about uh, four to five months ago. Uh, she's a beautiful heavy breed mare. Um, I think when we started she had significant rotation, was in a lot of pain. I think she was down to about six millimetres of sole depth. Uh, she was broken forward in her alignment and uh, we've slowly been uh, working on correcting the hoof capsule to the point where uh, the last couple of cycles she's been really visually sound anyway and, and much more comfortable. Uh, the hoof capsule looks like it's repairing. Uh, so, you know, we're, we're relatively happy with where we've been. We've had a couple of little hiccups in that the mare can jump. Um, she's done a standing jump over a 1.2 metre fence twice and ended up in a grassy paddock. Um, but welcome to the horse world. So the owner's doing a really good job of the management um, and I think that we're, as I said, making progress. So today we're going to go down, we'll x-ray, um, we'll take some photos and we'll do a video of our application and we'll show you where we've come from, how we shoe these type of horses and what we've been able to achieve in I think about four shoeings and we hope that you enjoy this video. Laminitis is damage and inflammation of the laminae between the hoof wall and the coffin bone. The laminae or lamella contacts the surface of the bone on one side and the hoof wall on the other, connecting the two. Depending on how severely these attachments are weakened, the outcome can range from mild foot soreness to separation of the coffin bone and hoof, which we term founder. The front hooves, which bear the majority of the horse's weight, are most commonly affected, but it can also occur in the hind hooves. When we took over this case, we had a recently founded horse who was in a lot of pain and discomfort. If we evaluate the lateral x-ray, we can see that the coffin bone is broken forward. We have a proximal HL zone of around 3.2 centimetres and a distal HL zone of about 4.3 centimetres. For a heavy breed like this, ideally these HL zones should be about 1.8 centimetres. We also had a sole depth of only 6 millimetres, which is a long way from ideal. Since taking over this case, we've used a full roller shoe package with hoof cast. Hoof cast is an excellent product to use with laminitic and founded horses, as it adds a degree of structural integrity to the hoof capsule, which can, along with the ideal shoe package, play a part in minimising hoof distortion. The hoof cast is also strong enough to nail into, preventing the need to nail into the weak and distorted hoof capsule and white line. In horses with chronic laminitis or founder, an abnormal horn structure called the laminar wedge develops within the laminar region of the foot. This pathological structure can adversely affect normal foot function. In our diagram, we want to highlight the fact these are founded feet, but we do not want to advocate supporting the laminar wedge with our shoe package, so we've used a red dotted line to highlight the distorted hoof wall, but a full black line to show our pre-application trim. The full roller shoe package has a number of positive features suiting laminitic horses. They enable the horse to roll forward onto the toe, further unloading the deep digital flexor tendon and laminae, even at stance, which often creates an improvement in comfort for the horse. There is little to no resistance to forward rotation of the foot, again minimising load to the deep digital flexor tendon and laminae in movement and the radial shape of the shoe softens the significant heel down landings often seen in laminitic horses when compared to a flat shoe.
We're highlighting the rasping of the toe so that you can see the laminar wedge, which is a yellowy type substance at the bottom of the hoof. We apply arty mud to the resected areas of the hoof wall before casting to try and prevent infection. We trim the cast, ensuring it's not too close to the coronary band or pressing against soft tissue around the heels. We use our jig to create the radius in our shoe. This ensures we get accurate shape and the belly of the shoe is in the ideal position. We always use arty mud and dim under our pads and we prefer equine comfort pads for our laminitic horses due to their shock absorbing properties. So in review, we started with a foot that was broken forward, had only six millimeters of sole depth, a 20 degree PA, and a proximal measure of about 3.2 centimeters. After four shoeings at five weekly intervals, we now have nice alignment, 1.4 centimeters of sole depth, a five degree PA, and a proximal HL measure of around 2.3 centimeters. 
This final x-ray shows our positioning of the full roller shoe with the red line highlighting where we rasp the distorted dorsal wall back to prior to the application of our shoe. It's important on these cases to not create further leverage on the already weakened and damaged laminae. The horse is visibly sound and comfortable, so we are relatively happy at this time, even though we still have a long way to go. We hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel.